Scientists may have just done the impossible. They found a way to reverse diabetes. Yes, you heard that right. After decades of being told that diabetes can only be managed, not cured, a series of new studies are rewriting what we thought we knew about this disease. For years, doctors have told patients that once diagnosed with diabetes, it's a lifelong condition, something you can control, but never truly escape. But now researchers are uncovering evidence that challenges that belief at its core. Before we continue, I'd like to tell you about Diacelon, a powerful blend of 13 natural ingredients, each carefully selected for their proven ability to support healthy blood sugar levels, enhance insulin sensitivity, and promote overall wellness. You can read more on diacelon.com. Using advanced stem cell technology, molecular biology, and even strategic lifestyle interventions, scientists are beginning to reveal that the body may actually be capable of restoring its own insulin-producing ability. If these early results continue to prove successful, we might be standing at the edge of one of the most transformative medical revolutions of our time. The very idea that diabetes, a condition that affects hundreds of millions worldwide, could be reversed sounds almost unbelievable, but the data is becoming too powerful to ignore. To appreciate just how groundbreaking this discovery is, it helps to understand the sheer scale and complexity of diabetes. Over 400 million people worldwide live with some form of the disease, making it one of the most widespread chronic conditions on Earth. In type 2 diabetes, which accounts for the vast majority of cases, the body gradually becomes resistant to insulin, the hormone that helps regulate blood sugar, or it fails to produce enough of it. As a result, glucose builds up in the blood, damaging blood vessels, nerves, and organs over time. In type 1 diabetes, the body's own immune system mistakenly attacks and destroys the pancreatic beta cells that produce insulin, leaving the patient completely dependent on injections for survival. For decades, treatments have aimed at controlling blood sugar rather than fixing the underlying problem. Patients learn to count carbohydrates, inject insulin, monitor their glucose levels constantly, and live within strict boundaries. The idea that this disease could not only be managed but actually reversed, that the pancreas could somehow be coaxed back into producing insulin, was until recently considered science fiction. So when credible scientific teams began reporting successful results, it sent shockwaves throughout the medical world. One of the most astonishing breakthroughs comes from a new generation of scientists working with stem cell therapy. In a remarkable study, Researchers took a woman who had lived with type 1 diabetes for years and used her own cells to create new insulin-producing cells in the lab. Through a process called cell reprogramming, they converted ordinary body cells into what are known as induced pluripotent stem cells, or IPSCS. These special cells can be guided to become nearly any type of cell in the body. In this case, the pancreatic beta cells responsible for insulin production. After growing these cells in a lab, the team transplanted them into her abdominal muscle, a safe and easily monitored site. What happened next was astonishing. Within just a few months, her body began producing insulin naturally again, something that had been impossible for years. After more than a year, she remained off insulin injections entirely, maintaining stable blood sugar levels. A similar case in Shanghai involved a man with type 2 diabetes who underwent the same therapy and also became insulin independent. These are small studies, but they represent the first real-world proof that lab-grown human cells can restore lost insulin function, something once thought impossible. For many researchers, this marks the beginning of a new era in diabetes treatment. Now, while stem cells are stealing the spotlight, another equally fascinating discovery has emerged from an entirely different direction. Enzyme biology. Scientists have identified a key enzyme called SCAN, short for SNOCOA, assisted nitrosilase, that seems to play a major role in the development of diabetes. This enzyme modifies proteins in the body using nitric oxide, which affects how cells respond to insulin. In diabetic patients and animal models, researchers found that SCAN levels were unusually high and that this excessive activity disrupted normal insulin signaling. The result? Cells stop responding to insulin, leading to insulin resistance, the hallmark of type 2 diabetes. 
But when scientists block the SCAN enzyme in diabetic mice, something incredible happened. The mice suddenly regained normal insulin sensitivity and were protected from developing diabetes altogether. It was as if their bodies had been reset. This finding opened an entirely new pathway for potential treatments, not by replacing damaged cells, but by repairing the molecular communication between insulin and the cells it's supposed to activate. If researchers can safely inhibit this enzyme in humans, it could lead to a revolutionary new class of diabetes drugs that correct the problem at its root rather than merely managing symptoms. Of course, not all breakthroughs require high-tech solutions. Some of the most compelling evidence for diabetes reversal actually comes from human studies focused on lifestyle transformation. For years, doctors believed that type 2 diabetes was progressive. Once you had it, you'd have it forever. But the landmark direct study in the United Kingdom challenged that belief. In this trial, patients with early stage type 2 diabetes followed a strict, low calorie diet using meal replacement shakes and careful medical supervision. Many participants lost a significant amount of weight, particularly from around the liver and pancreas. The results were astonishing. Within months, a large number of them had completely normal blood sugar levels without any medication. Some remained in remission for years. Researchers at Yale University later confirmed the key mechanism. When the body loses excess internal fat, particularly the fat surrounding the pancreas, insulin sensitivity improves dramatically. The pancreas can start working properly again, producing insulin as it did before the disease took hold. It's an incredible reminder that sometimes the body has the power to heal itself when given the right conditions. So what's really happening inside the body when diabetes is reversed? In the case of stem cell therapy, the process is both elegant and complex. Scientists start by taking ordinary cells, often from a skin sample or blood, and reprogramming them into induced pluripotent stem cells. These are then guided through a carefully timed series of chemical and biological signals that coax them into becoming insulin-producing beta cells. Once transplanted into the body, these cells begin functioning like natural ones, sensing changes in blood glucose and releasing insulin in response. Because they come from the patient's own body, there's a reduced risk of rejection. However, challenges remain, particularly for people with type 1 diabetes, where the immune system may still attack the new cells. Researchers are experimenting with protective capsules or immune-modulating therapies to prevent this. But even with these hurdles, the concept of replacing lost beta cells with new, patient-derived ones represents a medical revolution in itself. Meanwhile, the enzyme-based approach works in a completely different but equally fascinating way. Instead of rebuilding the pancreas, it focuses on restoring the proper function of the insulin signaling pathway. Think of insulin as a key that opens the door to let glucose into cells. In diabetes, that keyhole becomes rusted. No matter how much insulin you have, it can't open the door properly. The scan enzyme seems to be part of what's causing that rust. When it modifies insulin receptor proteins too aggressively, the signal gets distorted and glucose stays trapped in the bloodstream. By blocking or moderating the SCAN enzyme, scientists can restore normal communication between insulin and cells. In animal tests, this effectively prevented diabetes from developing and even reversed existing insulin resistance. If this process can be replicated safely in humans, it might someday offer a medication that resets the body's metabolic balance without the need for invasive treatments or insulin injections. The lifestyle and remission-based discoveries are no less dramatic, and they tell a powerful story about how adaptable the human body really is. Excess fat doesn't just sit under the skin. It builds up around vital organs like the liver and pancreas, where it interferes with insulin signaling and beta cell function. This phenomenon, sometimes called fatty pancreas, is one of the key drivers of type 2 diabetes. But when people lose even 10 to 15 kilograms through calorie restriction or structured diet programs, that internal fat starts to melt away. Studies using MRI scans have shown that as the pancreas sheds fat, it regains its ability to release insulin normally. It's as if the organ wakes up from a deep sleep. Of course, maintaining that reversal requires long-term lifestyle change. But it proves that for many people, diabetes is not necessarily a permanent state.
The body's natural equilibrium can be restored if we relieve it of the burden that caused the disease in the first place. If these scientific findings continue to hold true in larger trials, the implications are enormous, both for individuals and for healthcare systems worldwide. Imagine a world where a diabetes diagnosis isn't a lifelong sentence, but a temporary condition that can be treated and reversed. Patients could live free from daily injections, finger pricks, and constant medication. The burden of diabetes-related complications, from kidney disease and neuropathy to blindness and heart problems, could be drastically reduced. For healthcare systems, this could save billions of dollars in long-term treatment costs and improve the quality of life for millions of people. But before that future can arrive, researchers must answer tough questions about safety, durability, and scalability. Can stem cell transplants remain stable for decades? Will the immune system eventually reject or attack the new cells? Can enzyme inhibitors be developed without dangerous side effects? And can patients sustain the lifestyle changes needed to stay in remission long-term? These are the questions driving the next phase of diabetes research. Now let's talk about the caveats, because as exciting as this all sounds, it's not an instant cure. The stem cell trials so far involve only a handful of patients, and while the early outcomes are thrilling, it's still too soon to know how long the results will last. The immune system, particularly in type 1 diabetes, is unpredictable and may still destroy the new cells over time. The enzyme research is still in the preclinical stage, meaning it's only been tested in animals. Translating those results into human treatments is a long and complex process that could take years. And even in lifestyle reversal, which has the strongest human data, maintaining remission is hard. People often struggle to keep the weight off, and diabetes can return if old habits creep back. One large study in the United States found that while some patients were able to stop taking medication and maintain normal blood sugar, only about 3% stayed in remission after several years. These findings remind us that while reversal is possible, it's not always permanent, and it requires continued commitment, medical support, and ongoing research. Still, even with all these challenges, this moment in science represents something extraordinary. For the first time, we're not just managing diabetes, we're learning how to undo it. The progress in stem cell regeneration, enzyme regulation, and lifestyle science all point toward the same truth. The body has an incredible capacity to heal itself if given the right tools. The future of diabetes treatment may no longer revolve around daily medication, but around restoring the body's natural balance. It's a future where patients could one day live completely free from insulin and the anxiety of fluctuating blood sugar levels. But more importantly, it's a future built on hope. The hope that what once seemed irreversible may soon be something we can overcome. So no, diabetes hasn't been cured yet, but it's clear that reversal is no longer a distant dream. It's happening in research labs and clinical trials, and even in the lives of people who have achieved remission through lifestyle change. The next decade will be crucial as scientists refine these therapies, conduct larger trials, and uncover new ways to harness the body's natural healing potential. If they succeed, diabetes could become one of the first chronic diseases in history to be not just managed but reversed. If you found this explanation eye-opening, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more science-based health updates, and share this video with someone who might need a little hope. And tell me in the comments, do you think we'll see a real cure for diabetes in our lifetime, or is this still a few decades away? I'd love to hear your thoughts.